Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you wanna keep up with everything we've got going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream on YouTube every Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Unless I'm editing over this with days of the week that we have changed to. We also have the podcast available everywhere. Apple, Spotify, Google, uh, maybe your grandma started a podcast platform or probably on it. Wherever you get your podcast, make sure to check out the Grinding Gear podcast to hear more about all of the nerdy bullshit we're up to. Oh, it's you. You're probably wondering why I'm not with the others. It's just, I always knew that everyone would leave one day and I always hoped and prayed that we would find a way to send them home. But now that the time has come, I just feel lost, lost and lonely. I don't want our last moment together to be sad. I want to hold myself together just long enough to say the things I need to say, but I'm not sure I can even do that. I, I'm, I'm going with the bottom one. I, I'm going to go top because I can teleport here whenever I want. I'm going to see him and eat and you know, I'll, I'll see you around. I'm right here. <laughs> Shit, that's a good, that's a good damn yeah. answer. <laughs> Crap. Where he says, right, what, what'd you get? I'm going with you because oh. you made a good point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, right. Valentuna. I think we all feel braver with you around. Go on ahead and join the others. I'll be along after I take a few deep breaths. Aw, cute. Uh, Orianje says, I took the liberty of informing the Crystarium's leaders of our imminent departure. It seemed only right. Oh, I, I just I sorry, had a pleasure tour of the realm. Okay, thank you. Always with us. That's everyone then. We've all said what we needed to. Even afternoon. as we speak, Becklug undertaketh their final inspection of our spirit vessels. I love the sound of night. Mm -hmm. When thine own preparations for the journey are complete, thou art to present thyself in the ocular. Um, everyone? I want to thank you all, on behalf of the First. You, and Minfilia, and the Exarch. Without each and every one of you guiding us, fighting for us, we wouldn't be standing here now. There wouldn't even be a here. And no words can express our gratitude. We still have a lot to do, countless trials to overcome, but if it ever seems too much, I'll think of our time together. The happy moments, and the sad, I will remember it all, and it will give me the strength to carry on without you. Because you made me who I am. Minfilia. Reen. To honor these names and these memories, I will stand with all the people of this land and strive for a better tomorrow. Tancred, I believe the honor of responding <laughs> should rightfully be thine. <laughs> Just the way he said it, man. Bro. <laughs> I know better than most how much you've grown and I have every confidence you'll make your people proud.
gods know I'm proud of you. I always will be. You deserve all the happiness in the world, and more. Might we also say a few words? Why, this is oh, this just is about all of you. Return of the King vibes. <laughs> <laughs> to see you off seemed the least we could do. You bow to no one. You risked your all for us, fought for a realm not your own. Before you came, we had never known the beauty of the night sky. Or the joy of your company. Though it saddens us deeply, to bid you farewell, it has ever been our way to send off friends with a smile. Wherever your road should lead, we shall pray for your safety. And following your brave example, we shall continue to fight for the Crystarium. With or without us, you've always taken good care of this city. I don't doubt for a moment you'll continue to do so. I. A more resilient people we have never known. As resilient and enduring as the tower that watches over you. To the last, we did not question the Exarch about his past. It is only now, when he can no longer tell us, that we believe we know the answer. We have heard what became of him, and what is about to be attempted. All will be well. Of this we are certain. How could it be otherwise, when every soul in the Crystarium is praying for it with all their heart? And so, when our Lord awakens, I bid you give him a message. Tell him he needn't worry about us. That he need no longer hide who he <laughs> truly is that he should live his own life to the fullest. And that if he should ever find himself reminiscing on the past with a smile, we shall be smiling with him. Will you tell him this? Top. Windmill slam. All right. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. Please look after him for us. I dare say we have all the good wishes we can carry. Let us be on our way. <laughs> that is a great exit line. God that is a beautiful exit line. <sighs> you stole is my favorite scion. Still. Are we going to write any of these down? Are we going to remember every single one of these messages?
But we get a tiny... What? Wind up. Mistle? It looks like a little graha, but what... Don't what? we already have a little Yeah. Graha? How's it different? Oh, no one in particular. Is one hood up, one hood down? Oh, what was that? It Was it a hood up one? Starting to honor a certain individual with a mammoth likeness. Oh, oh, but... oh, oh. The, 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 the first one we got is how he looked in Realm Reborn. And this one looks like... Oh, the, okay. Like Shadowbringers. Graha. Like a mammoth likeness anyway, but give it a vague name. Make it everything all right, right? I just realized I didn't have Zelda out tonight, and I feel really bad about it. <laughs> uh, you were just helping the character limit. You know, you're making sure one more. I had a hidden from our last to be here. Uh, free company hang, I think. Anywho, Green says, "Yes, please, please remember to minion responsibly." When I su well, I suppose it's time. Are you ready, Valentuna? Not really. All right, let's not keep the others waiting. I'm so stealing that line like any Christmas party. Well, I've got all the well wishes I can carry. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm out. that is that is absolutely going to become my uh, the slightly tipsy exit yep, from any that's, family that's function. Yeah, that's my sign off. 100%. All right, I think we got all the wishes, well wishes we can carry. <laughs> <laughs> See you at Easter. <laughs> I'm Master Valentuna. I have but this moment to show your associates in. Strange to think that I will not have the honor of showing them out again. But I am informed that you and yours, yourself, oh, yeah, we're getting, getting custom may yet lines return. here from the gatekeep. And I look forward to welcoming you on that happy day. Now, if you would take care to follow me. And then we go. Yep. Oh, oh the pig. The pig's out. Oh, shit. What was its name? Angelo. <laughs> That's right. Oh, she's got his gun blade. Is he leaving her with it? Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'll oh, treasure yeah, thank it. you. I'll treasure it. Oh, that's. Since we cannot Please take tell me we come back us. at some point in Endwalker and Reen is just like kitted out, gun That would be awesome. like full armor, kitted out. Yeah. Like do another time jump, you come back, Reen's grown up, and she's just like badass gunbreaker. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'd be super into that. Use that's it or bad. sell it. It's all the same. So long as it serves you in some way, I will be satisfied. <laughs> Use it or sell it. <laughs> Oh, that is the most dad ass yep, I've ever yep. heard. Ah, there you are. Uh, I take it you are ready for your journey. The spirit vessels are primed and our company completed. At a word from you, we shall begin. Upon beginning the soul imbuing ritual, several cutscenes will play. You don't say. <laughs> All right, you ready? Recommend you set aside the Well, I mean, half of these are probably going to be Xeno, so yes, I'm right. ready. Uh, three, two, one, go. Very good. Oh, wait. I what? shall disturb it the best I want. We should have counted down clicking through that, yep. is what we should have done. Uh, no, uh, let, me, let me know. Because I don't think we're on auto advance anyway, so we'll still need to. Yeah, you're a little ahead of me. All right, then. Pray proceed as instructed. Beginning with your memories. Go. Cool. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, damn, you're perfectly in sync. I'm starting to think Ella's in animations are shorter for some reason because you, 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 there's been multiple times tonight where you've gotten ahead, even though we've been we started like perfect. Yeah, inter interesting, huh? That could be a factor, honestly. Oh, we get magic up in the shit. Yeah, I've been thinking so much about the goodbyes. I haven't thought about how First awesome this is going to be to. Have everyone and together again with Kyle to be and in order. Jitaru. Yeah. Well, that just leaves our souls then. We're in your hands, Angela. Freaking Angela. You look great for such a hideous sculpt. Mm -hmm.
I'm gonna go back to one of our first videos with theories, and I'm gonna be like, I bet this expansion ends with a flying pig. It is done! Perfect. The vessels have received both their memories and their souls! I hereby entrust them to your care. They belong to you now. Just be sure to guard them well, yes? I was thinking of learning to juggle with them. This will work, won't it? Our theories have held thus far. But I make no promises about what is to come. Even the greatest mages in history knew better than to transport a soul across the rift. We, my dear, are in unknown territory. Prepare as we might, we cannot account for all possibilities. And it is in such circumstances that accidents are wont to occur. Yet miracles do happen. So let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. All safely stowed away? I do hope so. All that remains then is to step into the mirror. Go now, and safe travels. Linko brings up a very good point. How do we know who is who? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> what if I, you actually missed up, mixed up the twins? What if? <laughs> that's Enmark. That's the what you were saying. What happens in Enmark, and that's it. Oh, the music. <laughs> Seem like. Oh, that's what? and we're running. What that's cute. Just got here? Oh, that's adorable. I have important stuff to do. I have important whiz biz to go about. <laughs> I think we have a bestie. Tataru, might I trouble you to brew us all a pot of your special tea? Oh, okay. You want to leave? Okay. Fine. Ah, You're and we I may require an extra cup. Yeah, I figured this was going to be a whole ordeal, like, you know. Yeah. 5.4, you know. Yours is a long road, my friend. And it stretches onto places beyond imagining. Hell yeah. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. And there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. For in times of hardship, when you fear you cannot go on, the joy you have known, the pain you have felt, the prayers you have whispered and answered, they shall ever be your strength and your comfort. This, I hope, such a good door. It is a great door. I believe. Here, All the doors memories went. end.
sudden panic like I wasn't recording. We're good. <laughs> oh, of course, Alvin, I was reading. <laughs> Oh, they're back in their old outfits. Yeah. What is it? Are <laughs> oh, you all right? I've seen that gift Do before. You yeah, yeah, it's been weather. around. Physically, I couldn't be better. Thanks to Kryle's ministrations, I'm already looking forward to our next fight. <laughs> but seriously, don't you have anything to say about that? Oh, she got her outfit remade. Oh, yeah, look at that. Why does she get to keep her old clothes? And thank her. <laughs> yes. There we go. That's how you hold a card. Hell yeah, that's how you check a card. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no less word. impressive than our garments. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. Give credit where it's due. I had help from a certain fiery oh, pixie who go. visited me in my dreams. They gave me all the information I needed to get the details just right. For your weapons, though, I needed I a lot more help. Thankfully, our favorite heads of state were happy to place their finest craftsmen at my exclusive disposal. Oh, and speaking of the Alliance leaders, they all express their unreserved elation at your safe return and promise to come and see you in person as soon as they can. They really needn't have gone to such trouble. But we'll be keeping these gifts all the same. Do pass on our gratitude. I realize we haven't taken up new martial arts, nor have I ever been one to set much store by appearances. But I can't help feeling a certain lack of... I don't know... personal development. <laughs> <laughs> I quite understand. But as you observed, the others had the more okay to pressing new threads. Need. Rest assured, our turn will come. Well Let's animated. Great yeah. this scene. Oh, if I expend any more ether, I swear I will blink out of existence. I need a bite to eat. Would you like some terrible bread? Apparently. <laughs> oh wow! Oh you're wow! A you're bite ahead of me again. Damn. Yeah. Tataru, a cup of tea, if you'll be so kind. Really cute model swap, and I guess. Something sweet. It's good looking bread. By Mistress Cryle's exhausted state, may I assume that the ward hath been restored? Indeed. We succeeded in weaving it anew, albeit at a slightly diminished potency than when I had Becklug's assistance. Oh. It is no cause for concern, though. The tower is not easily reached, never mind breached. And even should some few succeed, their presence won't escape my notice. Excellent. Said duty thus discharged, thou art free to go wheresoever thy fancy taketh thee. Upon which note, hast thou the chance <laughs> come to a decision? Coy. The offer remaineth open. Well, if you're certain that's what you... I am. I, I mean, if you think I... <laughs> it's bottom, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, all right. Three, two, one, Graha. Oh. 
<laughs> the ears. <clears throat> right. Oh my god. What? They're committed to making him the cutest Henceforth, thing on the planet. I shall count myself a scion <laughs> of the seventh dawn. I like his Rahatia, at your service. Uh, when I was a boy, many long years ago, I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. Help! Somebody help! Oh boy. Could just be a casual, you know, adventure. Oh, that was gr what a great little. That had to be performance capture. Hippogriffs! Hippogriffs on the rampage! A giant yep. flock of them! Please, we need help! I could do with a little rampage myself. <laughs> I'm so into this. Alice. What? She's now wait great. just a. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit is happening? She's just so Here happy for battle, you know? Uh huh. Lived it for so long. Stola is too cold for school. I guess he still would need his bullets enchanted. I will join the fray. Oh, when I finish that's my what tea. that was. Yeah. Thus did the avatar of destruction descend and in her wake leave naught but tears and ash. Oh, uh, this is this is my type of character shit here. I love this stuff. And then. One day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me, in the flesh. Yeah, you want to talk about coming full circle. Yeah, but what a reward too for Graha, you know, working that many years. Yeah. Fully healed up. Of course. Well, we so all knew it that was that a new adventure began. Ah. My old friend. The memory of a dying world's end. Night after night. And I thought it but a tired old dream. I say, I knew that securing the palace would provide your radiance with depressingly little sport, but that you should fall asleep out of boredom. Who splendid. Are... Truly splendid. And my own preparations, you will be pleased to hear, proceed apace. <laughs> and why not? Oh, yes. They proceed very well indeed. Frighteningly so. And we owe it not least of all to this singularly useful body I chance to find. With the Populares now all but destroyed, it will be the simplest of tasks to discredit their groundless assertions that I met with a grisly end. He's in Varus's body. Wouldn't he sound like Varus though? And as the very much alive Lord of House Brutus, I have a vast fortune at my disposal. Maybe not. Ah, money. Confused. Money, money, the great motivator. There is simply no better way to move men and expedite plans than with its alluring glint. Would you not agree? <laughs> huh? 
But wait, were we not acquainted, you and I? Oh. Oh, shit. Should our familiarity cause you distress, I beg your forgiveness. Yeah, a lot fancier looking. I have the mod. <sighs> what did you say your name was? <laughs> oh, a dagger through my heart that my deepest desire should forever remain unfulfilled to live unrecognized to die forgotten <laughs> so it goes I feel like Emmett and this guy would have gotten whatever along. this flesh may have been before it serves only as a vessel and I faithful Fan Daniel Labor only to advance, my lord. Fan Daniel? Oh, nice mask. Who the fudge are you? Fan Daniel. Speaking of which, with the palace in our hands, we is. may now proceed with the next phase of the plan. But how very odd. Despite all our havoc wreaking, old Elidibus did not deign to appear. Dare I hope? That the last of the unsundered is gone. Of course, there's a meme for this guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> there's the face I remember. <laughs> Imagine it, bound no more by the shackles of moldering memories of damnable duty, free at last to live for the moment. Oh, that's a cool justification. Your radiance, but give the word, and I shall go forth and prepare for you your hunting ground. I gotta look at Asahi's freaking face. That again. which awaited was a foul beast. Ferocious, ravenous, remorseless. Do as you will. Really pulling out all the stops on the facial expressions. Yeah, no, these last cutscenes have been very high effort. And the animation, definitely some performance capture going on in here. Some really naturalistic. It has been movements. too, too long, my friend. And insufferably dull in your absence. <laughs> When you return to me, you will share everything. Every blow will be a story unto itself. Every triumph. Every kill. Rest assured, we shall have a fitting stage for our reunion. Oh, the little reflection in the blade. Oh, yes. To reprise that transcendent moment, I will set this world ablaze. And we shall dance before the pyre. Goodbye. The beast shall kindle the flames of the apocalypse. To its domain shall the hero set forth for the final chapter in the tale of this star. I have so many questions. Yeah, like why would Asahi be a good body in the first place? Why? Well, I, I love the justification. Well, he, well, he just explained that it gives him access to his fortune. Okay. If, if, okay. if you could, if you could claim that Asahi survived, right? Like, yeah. If you, assuming. Yeah, and he can know, use money to manipulate people and not ask yeah. powers. But yeah, it, it's a beautiful justification. The idea that our 
Asian foes get to be just completely balls to the wall nuts because there's no duty anymore. Like the the paragons the, are gone. All the guards are gone. Yeah. Except uh, Fandango has a red mask. Yes. Well, they're they're. Well, we act, that that's a good point. I assumed all Massians have masks. Because uh, Igior was uh, was sundered, and they had a mask, right? Did, did we ever oh, see yeah. Igior? Was yeah. it red? Shit, I haven't thought about it. I don't Igior know if we saw Igior's mask, mask, but I assume all Assians have masks. It's just that you can ascend to become. So he may have a title, but he's not unsundered, just like Iggy, Iggyor. Fandain, okay, so Fandain Iggyorm's mask is red? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. The, the, the projected mask is irrelevant. It's the physical mask that is color-coded and important. To an extent, the, more so that the Assians we will deal with in the future aren't bound to bring back Zodiac. They can just be crazy <laughs> all they want. They can get as, okay. as wild as they wish. And evil for evil's sake. And laughing and having a jolly good time. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah. So in that way, like the whole, like, I mean, you know, obviously... We still kind of think that Xenos is going to eat Zodiac or something like that because there did kind of seem to be that like, hey, I know what you're after. You want the powers of Zodiac or something like that. But mm. it's not, it's no longer the primary goal. And in that way, we defeat it a little bit. So we kind of get to lay that part of the story to rest. At least the duty part of it, the, the bringing back of uh, the ancients, the other members of the council is now done. We still have mm. Zodiac to go, but we're not going to do it in the same tone. Which is nice, because, you know, then Endwalker could feel like, uh, okay, well, then we just keep bringing in a new Assian who keeps the story stumbling along. Now we get to enjoy a new aspect of it. Gotcha. Graha uh, is is uh, doing claw hands. Why is he doing claw hands? Claw hands? Look at his hands. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't no, know. I've, he's ready. He's what? an action figure. What? He's ready to hold a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the little twist and slot. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's just a cat boy thing. It's what cats do. They they stand there with claw hands? Yeah, they can I didn't know that. scratch. Oh, it's kind of strange. Yeah, well, you know, the cats going to climb a wall. Sure. Uh, I'm going to talk to him now. All right, sounds good. Ha, huh, you're back. Hmm. Tell me, Tuna, Val. Do you think I was excessively familiar earlier in, in my tone and mannerism <laughs> I thought it better to be familiar than formal if we are to be comrades but now I worry that it may have detracted from the gratitude and respect I harbor for everyone perhaps we might consider it a nod to my regrettably less than humble beginnings yes yes that will do <laughs> uh, being free to live as one pleases is not without its challenges in a way, I was, uh, it was easier when I had a mission that consumed my every waking moment. It provided me with a focus, a constant push in a singular direction. By the way, was casting spells always so draining? I had quite forgotten what it was like to do it without the tower. I've rarely felt so exhausted or hungry. Yet if all I did was bend the bow, I would be of limited use to you and your adventures, so I shall persevere. Whoever I might have been before, I am now a scion, and an inexperienced scion at that. A green initiate, eager to learn how best to contribute to the cause, that he might follow in the footsteps of his inspiration. Oh my god, he's so eager. He was designed in a lab. Graha is now available as a trust companion. Oh, cute. Frick. Yeah. Uh, sir, I do believe that is the end of 5-3. Yep, that's the end. Yeah, Graha designed... Oh, show him, show him wind up, Exarch. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Scientifically designed for maximum cuteness and all the fanfics. Uh, you can't summon him in here. Oh, oh, talk to him. Just talk to him. Oh. Just freaking talk to him. Trust me. Oh, oh, okay. Show him the wind up. <laughs> so grumpy. 
This is a wind up his fist. Well, now I have my suspicions as to what this is about. But would you be so good as to confirm them to me? I just as I thought. It went ahead with it after all. The artisans of the mean had come to me with a proposal, you see. In celebration of the knight's return, they asked how I wished to be commemorated. On a coin or as an automaton. Neither, I replied. For all the good it did, they knew I would be embarrassed. Makes no difference what name they give it. Yet they still did it. A right stubborn lot they are, as befits the people of the Crystarium. They shall be just fine without me, and Lena may rest assured I do not worry about them. Nevertheless, I shall never cease to pray for their happiness. No longer am I a leader of a nation. Whatever power and influence I may have wielded, I left behind as surely as I left my body. But everything I have ever felt and experienced, all these things and more I have brought with me, you have brought for me. And I shall carry them close to my heart always, until the end of my days. Well, that was uh, funny and then really freaking heartwarming. Yeah. <laughs> the bare neckline, too. What a. They know what they're doing. Yep. They know yep. what they're doing. Yep.